and then you close it this is much like a session actually and uh, the computer knows who you are it knows when you started and where you ended and so on i mean all of these things can be explained in terms of session session variables solve uh, the problem of storing uh, user data on the browser um when i was referring to you opening your computer and doing some work this is actually saved in your computer but what about the browser how does the browser keep the data and so on uh, at first there was no way to track that because your ip address sometimes changes but now with sessions you can actually keep track of what you have been doing and uh, you can always resume to what you did before right so sessions are used in php to actually store user data or user information in case a user has to actually remain on the browser for some time right so session variables hold information about one single user and uh, that session is available on all the other pages right this tutorial is not going to be long i'm just going to give you what sessions are all about so that you get an overview of what it is the session is started with uh, the session start in php like it has the keyword to start the session and you can access the session using the super global or the global variable that we talked about before the session which you have here right you have here right now let's create a new page and have it with the session let's start the session on the page and actually see so you see at the top of your page you do session start and your normal html and inside here you are actually setting the session variable your favorite color is green session or your favorite animal is cat and you can actually after doing this you know that your session has started i mean you have these values available on your browser so anywhere on your browser you can actually access this variable now uh, how do you get the php session just like a normal array in php you can get a session by its uh, key name because session is like an associative array that has key and value you can actually get these names and you can use them for whatever you want right so you have something like this you can print out the whole session and so on so uh i think that is it about session you can also destroy sessions in php maybe you for example, when you log out, the logout is simply a session destruction, right? You destroy a session so that you are not able to maybe access a particular authenticated page and so on. So to remove a global session variable and destroy a session, you can use the session on set to, to remove the values that were inside and session destroy to destroy the whole array that was available for you. So I will again switch to my browser and here I have a simple page called index of PHP and I'm going to actually uh, add some page one. Hello world. Right. And I'm going to open this on my browser. I have this hello world and you have this session variables that are set. It is what you see here, a session at favorite color call to this. So I can actually put session at username or to Andrew session at the rule equal admin for example. Right. And then I don't need to echo this out. Now, I can see that this has been set and on any other page, for example, I'll give another page. Uh, page.php, right? I am going to put some content here, maybe authenticated. Five and say dashboard for example. 
and inside this dashboard i'm going to h1 authenticate all right so i have this simple page and okay this session is available meaning for example i am logged in for example and what i can do is that i can actually access the whole of this session on any page for example on this other page i am trying to print out the whole session and if i come to my browser and i refresh and go to page.php see that you have the whole stuff here you have a, a royal color called green and so on if you notice this there are a lot of chunks in here because we already started session so let me try to destroy that session session on set and then i'm going to restart the session again so that we get something useful Close this time. Okay, go to PHP. I go to sessions and when I expect a session on line 15. Okay, we have hello world now, and if we go to page.php and want to access you have this array that has a username and the row so i want to come to this other page the admin page and check if uh, if uh, session Username or to Andrew, for example, I should echo out this echo right. So I have this simple PHP script that goes to the dashboard, and I'm going to close this out. So this is only going to be accessible when the session is equal to Andrew, right? So if I come back here, the session exists and if I go to main page.php, it's authenticated because we have a session that has that name in it. Now imagine that we actually destroyed this session, for example. Uh, let's set the session again. Um, let's redo this again and set the username to data, for example. And let's, let's check this page again. Right. Coming back to this page and let's try to refresh and go to admin page.php. Okay, line 11. Line 11 admin page. Here session let the page session and example.
Okay, we do not start the session on this page. Sorry about that. So yeah, session start. It. I think that was the error we had. So if I come back here, come back to my page and refresh, you actually get to see nothing because the the, the user name is no longer Andrew. So sessions are used to actually maybe for authentication in PHP. Maybe you want to uh, limit some access to some particular pages and so on. And just a quick overview: you start a session with a session start. Um, you can clear everything within the session uh, variable with the session on set. You can destroy by de uh, deleting the whole session array with a session destroy. That is the brief about sessions. I am giving this because you will need it. In your assignment, this is how it will be. You are expected to create a user registration, user login, user logout, and uh, yeah, the user uh, reset password. Now, with the user registration, you are expect you have a code base that has been provided to you, and you are only supposed to be working what with the, the files that are inside the php form what you're expected to do you get the user data the front end form some user data to you use that data and store it into a csv file the next thing is that for a login you are going to actually get in the information that is coming from the form read the csv file and compare if they match then you send the user to a dashboard and then you are going to start a session after sending the user to the dashboard right meaning that oh you are actually going to be able to access those sessions everywhere on your browser the next thing is the logout when the user clicks on logout you are going to check if that user has a section right if it's if the if the session exists on that browser if it does then you destroy the session and uh, for the reset password it's almost like a create account but you're only going to update a particular key on your database that is an overview of the task and uh, just like we said uh, we are more back end so i do not want to involve you a lot in the front end i did a little design of the front end just forms register form login form reset password form and then some navigations uh, maybe i should show you that slash sorry in here it is you have a uh, that was a task uh, okay so here it is you have a uh, user or this is how your assignment should be it looks like this so when you go to login it takes you to the login page now, what you are supposed to do, you are supposed to handle this login, meaning I already have the front end handle for you. When I click on login, it's supposed to take me to a particular file and the, the description is on your task. You're supposed to handle what that file does. If I want to reset password, it takes me to another form, reset password, and I put in the new password with an existing email. And when I click on reset, it updates the, the uh, CSV file with the new information. You also have the register, which is similar, right? The same thing here, and uh, you have the dashboard, I think. Dashboard, PHP. Okay, this is the dashboard. You are supposed to echo out this username. And this username is supposed to be a session variable that you stored somewhere. And when I click on a lockout, it's supposed to destroy the session. Also, uh, you can go further by uh, making sure that this page is not accessible when I just type on it here because it's supposed to be accessible only when somebody is logged in, right? So that is uh, that is it about your task. You're expected to create a user registration, user login, user reset password. And uh, on your code base, I'm just going to just show you a little bit of it uh, you have Zuri sorry you have Zuri you have uh, 
where this is you have this right this is where our data is and just like i said uh, what you're expected to do is just to work within this php folder right nothing else the form is already there for you the storage is already there for you you have to store some data into the csv file i'm going to walk you through this login so the login takes in the username and password now inside this function you are supposed to declare the body right and then i've already called the function here for you what you are expected to do is just to declare the body the next thing is the lockout which i've also uh, not called it out for you so you are supposed to call this function and also implement it here so what you are supposed to do is check if the user has a session or if the user has a session you should destroy the session and send the user to the login page the register you have this domain code that already exists i am supposed to just implement the logic inside this i've already called the function to you and uh, you also have the reset password which i've already also called the function and you just have to finish what it's already there to make sure that it's working your csv file already exists uh, so you are just expected to work within this php folder that is your task you should create a user login user logger user registration and reset password that is what you are expected to do so far with your uh, task for the week right i think well, we have had a lot of saturation within the week and take your time to go through these videos over and over if you don't understand you can always get to us on slack right we are there okay so i think we can we can end here